Hi, I'm Kenneth Weidster. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my weekly photo chats. So today I want to talk about an artist. He passed on the same day as Robert Frank, and his name is Fred Herzog. But what I want to talk about is, what is the way that we are supposed to work with and deal with artists who aren't always good people? So Fred was born in Germany and he moved to and grew up and lived his life in Vancouver. And he photographed Vancouver and he's a wonderful Kodachromes of Vancouver for decades before he was discovered in his 70s, I believe. And they did some retrospectives, they did some shows. And I love his work. And his work is just so simple. It's documenting what's in front of him in his world and finding a creative way to shoot it. There's a great photograph of, uh, I'll put a link in the show notes, there's a great photograph of a man standing on the corner with a bandage on his head and a woman looking at him and looking like she doesn't quite approve. He might be at a bus stop. And there's a story that he said, I was just walking and the camera was at my side. I just shot and his head was a little bit cut off and that's because I wasn't able to frame it. I was just walking and shooting. But it's kind of like how we shoot street today, right? But they were talking to him in an article in The Guardian, which I will also put in the link below. And they had asked him about Germany and asked him about World War II. And he used the phrase, the so-called Holocaust, which really was a difficult phrase to use and the reporter called him back on it. And he was saying, well, you know, I just want to check and make sure all the stats are right. It seems like a lot of people to die and how do you kill that many people? And it's like, you can't talk about that. That's, you're challenging the Holocaust? So he later came around and said, you know, he, he understands that that's insensitive and he understands that what happened isn't a so-called Holocaust. And his words were poor choice of words because he thought he was being, you know, trying to be clear and, and thorough in his investigation, which who's investigating this, but it went on his legacy a little bit. And then people were like, I don't like him anymore. I don't want to watch his work. I don't want to see his work because I don't like him. He was a Holocaust denier or in some sense challenging some of the horror of World War II, having been a German and leaving Germany. So he was born in 28, so I think that he left maybe right before, right after the war. I think right after the war. So the question is, if somebody does something that you don't like, does that change your ability to like their work? If you, I've heard Picasso was not necessarily the nicest person at times maybe a womanizer. People have made accusations against Woody Allen, and I remember years ago, I photographed his wife, Soon Yi. She was going to Ryder University, which is in New Jersey, and when she arrived on campus, a lot of press were there, and I was too, and we photographed her for the news because Woody Allen had just married her. And they'd been together for 20-some years, so it's not my place to say that that's a bad idea. It's a weird way that he met her, but I don't want to tell anybody who they can't love, so I'm not judging him. But some people just don't like him, or they believe the stories of abuse that have been made against him. Does that change your ability to go see his film? His last film didn't even get distributed because I think Amazon was behind it, and they pulled it because they said, because of the controversy, we don't want to release it. And that's a good question. What is the role of somebody who's in the public figure, public eye, what is their role as a person representing not just the art, but we need to like them to like their art? So can we get past Fred Herzog's calling the Holocaust the so-called Holocaust? Can we get past Woody Allen and Picasso and all of them and say, oh, that's okay. 
I'm more interested in what they created. People are flawed. People make mistakes. Or does it become every time you mention Fred Herzog, you have to bring up that story? Is it something that gets tagged on to that person and then there's no way to remove it? Which is a sort of a sad thing that that has to always be, you know, the footnote. All right, that's my question I'm positing. I welcome your comments and your thoughts on that. Where do you stand if you like an artist, but then you aren't happy with all the things that are a part of their world? All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, hit the Patreon, and I'll be back next week. We'll talk photography. As always, here's the good light.